Hey everyone, I'm Andrew aka Mipus. Uh, me and my friend Misha aka Pisok just realized that there's no awesome tutorials about Rage MP and that's why we want to introduce you our own. Before we start, we want to tell us that we are not senior programmers, we don't have 5 master degrees or something like this. So this course is not about C-sharp or patterns or something like this, and it's only about Rage MP. So before you will start this course, please learn some basics of the language and .NET platform. So about the course, there will be 2-3 lessons per week, it will depend on our free time. This course will contain about from 10 to 15 lessons about basics of RageMP platform. After the end of this, we will develop the small, small ready-to-play server. Uh, mostly probably it will be like Desmatch or FreeRoam server. But it will be later and let's start from required tools first. So first of all, we will need documentation of RageMP platform. Because we will use uh, C Sharp on our server side and client side, we will use this one uh, from gtanet.org. It's like the old documentation as I know, and uh, it's not updating at the moment. For the new information, we will use the other wiki. Also, we will need developer environment, and uh, it's only by your own, someone using, using Visual Studio, but I prefer Rider from the JetBrains. But uh, a lot of people, especially newbies, using the Visual Studio, so the start of the project we will show with it. So first of all, you will need to install RageMP platform. I hope that you can make it by your own. So now we are going to RageMP uh, folder and going to server files. Also, we will create uh, the new folder on our desktop, where we will contain all the servers from server files folder. I'll just copy it. Yeah, like this. So let's launch uh, the RageMP server uh, from the administrator name the first time. And it will create some files and new folders, like you can see here. Also, we here have we have here config.json uh, text file. We need to change the property C sharp from disabled to enabled. And uh, restart the uh, server again. Now it should uh, show us the error. Wrong. Oh, sorry. Uh, so yeah, it should uh, say the error that necessary resources folder is not found. So we are going to .NET folder and creating the resource folder here. And uh, now we can launch the Visual Studio. So I'll use uh, Visual Studio from 2022 because uh, a lot of people have the problem with it, especially with launching. So here we click to create new project and waiting for it to load. So yeah, we're selecting the class library and uh, creating the project. So first of all, we need to name the project name. Let's put it like server site. And solution name, it's like the name of your project. I'll just use the course project name for it. So don't forget to uncheck uh, this place solution project in the same directory. Now we need to give the path to our resource folder. So I'm going to desktop, rage, .NET, resources. Next, uh, here I'm selecting .NET Core 3.1. You can try to choose uh, version 5, but uh, you will need to replace some files in the runtime. So I'll not recommend it to you. But if you are using some new technologies or new features from .NET 5, you can use it by your own. All help you can find in uh, our Discord on a, or in uh, RegionP uh, Discord. So now let's wait until the project will load. So the project is created and uh, so let's rename the class name first. Let's put it like main. Uh, remove the unnecessary usings. And now we need to add the reference to GTA Network API library. So right click on the project, add project reference, click on solution, browse. And now we are going to the our server folder, rage. Then .NET runtime, and here should be Bootstrapper JLL. Yeah, it's right here, so we're adding it. So now we can use uh, this library in our code, in our project. Let's try to use it. So using GTA Network API. Now we need to inherit the main script from uh, the Rage, uh, Rage script. And uh, let's try to write the basic methods. So server event. Uh, on resource type, I think. Yeah, so when the server will start, it will call 
this void uh, on resource third. Uh, it's not accepting any arguments, parameters. And uh, let's just type in console that series starts at Now we are going to the project settings, like, so just double click on the server side and uh, we need to add uh, copy local log file assemblies uh, in this XML config. So it will allow us to like, save some time, not, uh, not trying to find like some DLS on NuGet or internet. And uh, when we will build something, all other libraries like entity framework will be in uh, the folder with our server side.dll. Now we need to change uh, debug settings, so we are clicking here, uh, choosing the server side debug properties, and we need to create a new profile. It should be executable. Oops, sorry. So we need to rename the first one. Let's like put like rage, simply rage, yeah, I think. Uh, here we need to provide the path to our. Uh, regionpcerror.exe so in our folder there's a file regionpcerror.exe and uh, the working directory should be like just the rage folder I mean the folder of our server uh, Rider will automatically put it to you but uh, we are using Visual Studio so yeah and yep server starts it so now we need to configure the server settings. We are going to our folder, rage.net and going to settings.xml. So first of all, let's uh, disable log chat. Also, we will disable the ACL. Basically use it like just to divide the people for groups, like the helper for the comments. I'm not really sure because uh, I'm not using it at all. Yeah, here's some documentation about it. And uh, we need uh, to add new line and here replace uh, the mines with the name of our project. So here it will be like a uh, uh, course project here. Yeah. So we are saving this file and going to source uh, course project and creating the new file with the name meta.xml. So all text for these files uh, you can search in the description of this video in uh, gtnet.work wikipedia. Uh, here we need to configure the name. It's not really matter what we will uh, type here. So let's just type uh, best server and uh, some random description. And uh, now we need to use the path for our DLL file. So we're going to server side, be in debug. Oh, uh, I forgot to change the CPU settings. So we are going to Visual Studio again. And now we are clicking on, uh, not here, any CPU. Uh, configuration manager. Here we need to change the active solution platform. Selecting new and uh, selecting x64. Pressing OK and close. So our is ready. We need to launch it again and uh, it will build the DLL for x64 platform. So yeah, we added uh, the settings uh, XML and uh, there's another error now. So we will fix it now. We can delete uh, the bug folder. We not really need it. x64 debug net corrupts 3.1 and here is uh, server side.tll. It's our game mode. So we are copying the path from our solution to this DLL file. We are going to meta.xml and changing it, just passed, and uh, adding click our DLL file name, server side dot DLL. So if we will launch uh, the server now, it will show in console our uh, text, like server starts. Yeah, but it's uh, right here, as you can see. So now let's configure our, our client site. So we are going to our server folder, client packages, and creating the new folder with the name cs uh, underscore packages. 
Now going here and uh, back to Visual Studio, clicking on the solution with right click and creating the new project. Also class library, typing here client side. Then now we need to choose the path to reach client packages, CS packages. Next dot uh, net core 3.1, the same. And uh, we also need to add the dependencies. But uh, it will be the different path. So let's first, firstly, rename the class to main. So we are going to client side, uh, add uh, project reference and uh, browse. We need to find a rate sharp and .dll. So we are going to our main regmp folder. Uh, .net, I think. Yeah, .net and uh, rate sharp and .dll should be somewhere here, right here. So now we can use uh, rage library and we need to inherit the script from the events.script. Uh, so when the client site is starting, it's calling the constructor of the class. So are just typing public main without uh, any arguments or parameters and uh, I just make the basics so when the event uh, on player player ready we will call uh, the method uh, with the name on player ready yeah so visual studio will help us to create this method and let's just output something in uh, in the chat so rage dot chat dot output Hello, you joined the server. So we don't need to build the client side because uh, it will build automatically. So load it, it will call uh, the constructor of the class that inherits from uh, events.script. So that's all for the beginning. Uh, don't forget to join our servers and you can ask uh, whatever you need, we will try to help you. Also don't forget to check the description of this video, there will be a useful link. First of all it's uh, the link to the main website of RageMP, like there's some resources, Wikipedia, forum. Also don't forget about uh, gtnet.org wiki, there's uh, documentation for c -sharp client site and server. Also the discord of RageMP. Uh, I'm absolutely sure that 99% of problems that you can meet in uh, in your work, it was already found by some users and already solved. So don't be shy to type to someone or uh, ping someone just to ask uh, about your problem. So communication is everything. Uh, see you later.